already. <laughs> Long day. Um, <laughs> the Scent of Lemon and Rosemary by Rachel Henderson. Working, uh, working Domestic Magic with Hysteria. They're so R and Hestia. And likely just then, I'm likely saying her name wrong. So I'm sorry. Alrighty, so this is another book that can be added to a witch that's doing like hearth, kitchen, cottage, home magic. Um, or those who are wanting to work with Hestia in some capacity, whether it's just being the main deity that you work with or um, having some sort of connection with. Uh, so there's a number of different gods and goddesses associated with the home in some way. So this is just, um, a book that can help people that want that connection so um, you get like things to do like spells stuff to make and I have a feeling you can hear should have muted it or turn the, the CP off but um, so you get information history you get the author's own story in here as well so you do get around the house stuff and like um, stuff to think about and like broader issues. I'm not overly hooked on this book, um, but there are some good exercises and some good bits of information. It's a decent starter book for like home, homemade natural ways of doing things like home based stuff. So like, um, you get a few different rooms, like kitchen, living room, bedroom, bathroom, and then like a few other different um, areas looked like, looked at. Um, so like you do get an introduction to Hestia. And if I'm wrong about saying it, I'll likely look up how to pronounce it um, properly later but still put it down in the comments. Um, if I am saying it wrong, but helpful. So you get like information like um, advocates, she advocates self rule, some of her symbols, herbs and crystals, an altar they could do it, um, do for her, like how to talk to her. So, I'm sure there's other resources that will have like either a full chapter or full that are full like or, like journal or like book about her but this is more of home and like with a bit of a focus on her so um, she does focus on the five rooms that I've mentioned before in here um, like you got she talks about charms water magic, so like different types of water, moon water, distilled water, um, so then you get like exercise starting like that, um, so keeping it neat and tidy, um, placemats, napkins, like how to make um, those if you want to make them yourself, um, salt and pepper shaker charms, um, fire gazing it goes into a few different like house plants so, so like um, jade plants jasmine and a few others wire wrapped crystal pendant is a craft um, bedroom crystals rose water um, and also how to make it um, sugar scrubs So like exercise dishes, so pull out um, all your plates, bowls, glasses, cups, utensils, and anything else you eat off of, including any serving dishes, arrange them on your table, 
so you can see everything clearly. And then um, three things to consider. Um, sorting, so like reevaluating, um, creating your own cookbook, consecrating your cookbook. So those are like the types, and like it does um, your own wheel of the year. Eh, wheel of the year. I like this kind of like um, kind of talk. Um, Kellyanne Maddox has done a video like this a while back. But, um, and I kind of resonated with that because I more resonate with Maybon, Samhain, Yule, and Nimbalk. The other four Sabbaths I don't relate to at all. Um, and I've been adding in a few other dates that to me, I, um, I want to celebrate. So this may seem odd, but um, the birthday and death day of King, King Ludwig II of Bavaria. So those are two dates I'm trying to incorporate in into my practice because ever since I did a project on him in um, high school and like even before that like I won a 3D puzzle of one of <laughs> Um it wasn't until that project that I really um, got a real interest in him so try and bring that in my practice so stuff like that um if you connect with like other um people or like other days you don't have to stick to the sabbaths if you don't resonate with them in some way um so like it's just a exercise of creating your own wheel um and she does talk have like a cultural pro appropriation so that is a big um, a big thing. Um, closed versus open practices, supporting indigenous practitioners, um, and a few exercises to go, uh, go along with that. So overall it is um, a variety of different exercises. Even though I may not be huge on it like totally there are a few good exercises that I may take away from this book um, and um, use for myself so yeah the secret the scent of lemon and rosemary happy readings <laughs>